Hello beautiful Libra and welcome to your general guidance for the next four weeks. I'm recording this on May the 25th but whenever you find it take it four weeks from there. All right my beautiful people hello and welcome if you're new here I'm Julie Poole everything you need to know is in the description box below and if you're coming back thank you so much I really appreciate your support on my channel and um, just to let you know as well the link is there in the description box to work with me if you want to book in and um, I've got a sale on at the moment limited time 20% uh, off the one hour readings and healing sessions so if you want to save yourself 50 bucks drop <laughs> Drop in before I take that offer off. All right. Okay. The cards I use also linked there, but I do tell you as we go along the decks I am using. Okay. Let's bring the camera down. I have missed you guys. I have to be honest. Um, it's been a strange couple of months and I've not been that well. And the last time I did your May readings, I wasn't on camera and they were very brief. I just was not myself. And many of you have also been struggling with low energy, low mood, ill health, all sorts of things. I tuned in the other day and I asked um, and they said, we're going to channel information for a message for you. So I put that up a couple of days ago. I'm going to link it at the end of the video, probably at the bottom somewhere. It was quite a long 30, 40 minute message about what we're experiencing at the moment and why so many of you are struggling. And the last 10 minutes or so was a purely channeled message, which I separated off. So if you haven't got time to watch the longer one watch the channeled message if you're struggling because it'll help you if you're not struggling happy days all right so i bought some new decks this is the angel answers radley valentine new decks give us a bit of a new energy and now that i'm feeling more like my old self i wanted a fresh influx okay libra please last but certainly not least my beautiful people okay the message from the angels is no need to worry that is lovely right there yeah happy there right okay and what else please that one within the next few months and this one please oh the top one okay it's a yes all right so libra if you, let me just straighten that camera it's one can there there we go all right if you have been worrying about am i going to find work am i going to get a job is love ever coming am i ever going to sell my house no need to worry within the next few months it's a very strong yes okay we'll find out more as we go along if you don't know me um i don't do structured readings i allow my higher self and my spiritual team who i call eli to guide the reading and they just tell me which decks and how many and i just listen to them and we just follow it all right now round and around this is not an easy energy, Libra. I can't dress it up for you, my darlings, and I wouldn't want to. Round and around is all about, we just keep going around in circles, we just keep hitting the same problem, the same issue. Like, you know, I'm just not seeming to break this pattern. So whatever it is for you, this is the time we want to be breaking this, whatever this is. So it's coming out with the no place like home. And the home is on a little hook there being lifted up and carried and put somewhere else. So some of you are trying to move home but you just keep going round in circles you know you find a house and then somebody else beat you to it then you find another house and there's a problem with it and then we find the right house and it's not the right price there's a problem going round and round now if it's related to home okay they're also saying your current home you may have a problem in the current home with perhaps your neighbors or some maintenance in the home and it keeps happening perhaps your home keeps getting flooded they're telling me that for a few of you um, and if you buy a house on a floodplain 
uh, as they do tend to build them like that in the UK, which flummoxes me. Why would they build houses on a floodplain and then be surprised that they flood? But it's horrible for the people going through that and it's a nightmare with insurance. So whatever this round and around is for you, Mm, they've given me a third scenario all right they give me lots of scenarios because it's a general reading and thousands of you watch it so I'm trying to encompass as many as I can some of you this can be to do with a relationship in your home where you keep having the same issue with your partner or your child that it doesn't seem to be resolving so we're going to get some advice on this and find out what we can do to break this cycle okay that was the wisdom of the oracle this is the animal oracle there's always one or two that comments in the comments saying what are those decks i'm telling you in the reading what they're called and they are linked below animal oracle okay rabbit spirit now is a lucky time now we like this very very much okay so number 49 which comes to a four four is foundations and home and security so we have this lucky time that we are in okay now let's go to the tarot these are the tarot of dreams marchetti and we have some flyers here okay let's find out eight of coins so this is about work okay and the king of wands entrepreneur energy powerful energy palace of wands nice and the knight of cups i don't read reversals okay all righty so libra some of you this is about home some of it it's some of you it's about work okay because we've got the palace here and the palace represents a place a tangible environment it could be home could be work but it's a place where you feel empowered it's where the king of wands lives it's a place where you feel that you can tap into your passion to your enthusiasm to your energy now for many of you this is about work because we've got the eight of coins here which is the worker card so if some of you hi this is a nice message if some of you have been feeling very ready for the next step on your career ladder but every time you apply for something you don't get it it or it doesn't it, it just doesn't hit the round and around can be shifting within the next few months into that more senior role at work okay so the offer is going to come in the knight of cups here is an offer that comes in that makes you very happy so it is a strong yes now this can also be about love because the king of wands is very passionate dynamic it is entrepreneur energy but it's dynamic go-getting energy so it doesn't necessarily with a worker card mean work it means as in job it could be you're working on your power you're working on your environment you're working on breaking a cycle and we want you to not worry because it is going to sort itself out over the next few months which is nice because this is a good time a lucky time all right let's find out some more oh okay these are the toy tarot royale and i will also be using the legacy of the tarot all by marchetti okay let's see what we've got here we, oh nice oh very nice all right we've got the chariot we've got the fool so we are moving forward towards that yes towards that new beginning libra something good is coming your way we've got the empress the eight of wands that's the minor arcana, minor arcana equivalent of the chariot so we've got a double message you're moving forward this is absolutely going to happen okay and we've got the four of wands which is that no place like home card so we've got a lot of power moving you forward in this very lucky time towards something new so whatever has been stuck with that round and around is unsticking okay we like this very much so there's no need to worry don't get yourself in a funk going it's never gonna happen it is gonna happen we are working our way towards it so look at this bottom row We've got the chariot, the fool, and the empress. 
three major arcana cards back to back all right the chariot is a victory card we are moving forward the brakes are off and if we look at this card each chariot card is different depending on the deck very often it's horses or lions and they're going kind of they're pulling against each other like going sideways so it's like you've got to harness it you've got to ha harness the volatile forces opposing forces to get it to go in the right direction now with this deck it's sphinxes and they are both pointing straight ahead as if they're on rails like a train really ready to go forward all right so the brakes are off we're ready to go forward whilst you may not see the results for a couple of months this is happening in the next four weeks all right so for example you might find the home you want or the job you want in the next four weeks but by the time you've done all the paperwork and all of the bump that goes with it then it could be a few months before you move in or you start the job do you know what I mean if this was a new relationship, you may be finding that relationship now, but it takes a few months for it to build to something special to say, this is very special. All right. And I'm getting that message that this is very special. Whatever this is for you, this is something new because it's the full card here. So this is a new job or a new relationship or a new home. This is a new shift of energy. Um, it's brand new. This is taking a leap of faith. You wanted it. You've created it. You're moving towards wonderful abundance with the Empress there. Empress is creative energy. It's flowing energy, luxury energy. So this is good money, having everything that you need. It is absolutely taking off and going forward. As I said there, the Eight of Wands is the minor arcana equivalent to the Chariot. So you've got two cards here of victory. That's also news, news coming in that is moving you towards this, Four of Wands. This is the Home, Marriage, Stability, Good Foundations card. All fours represent our foundations and the Four of Wands is career, is love, marriage, um, taking things to the next level, promotions, upgrades, improvements. So if you're dating, you might be moving in together within the next few months. If you're already living together, you could be getting engaged or married in the next few months. If you're after that promotion, then that can be coming. I will be doing a career and money reading about the middle of June, so keep your eyes open for that. But this is a beautiful outcome. You see these four pillars, the 1111 card, we call it, it says you've done the work to put all the foundations in place. This is lovely. This is one of the most, if not the most, positive reading um, I've done out of the 12. And you are the 12. All right, let's find out some more. Don't blow it now. <laughs> let's see what else we've got. Oh, my days, Libra. You've got the 10 of coins. There is your abundance and prosperity. That is good money and security. Uh, the keys to your future coming in now over the next four weeks. Ten of Swords, the ending of any struggle, any head spin, any that round and around. Let's pull it over here so that we can remind ourselves what we are breaking. This cycle that keeps going round and round and round and round. No, it's done. It's finished. We are moving into prosperity now. That Ten of Swords is finished. It's finished. I want a card on that round and around. That's obviously why I had to move it to one side. Tell me more about the round and around. What was this about? Ten of Cups. And it's a sense of, I mean, a Ten of Cups is a beautiful card. It's a happy ever after card. But the round and round, I'm feeling here, because round and around is a negative card. We're stuck in a pattern that we can't seem to break. So the Ten of Cups is saying that this round and round has been affecting your happiness, has been affecting your well-being. As it breaks, then the happiness can come in better. I want to clarify that a little bit more, please. Two of Cups and the Three of Wands. This is an expansion. All right, now, round and around. Because we've got the Two of Cups here, which is a card of love, 
and it can be relationships all right particularly with the round and round card you may have been finding that your current relationship has been in a stagnancy a stuck space it just seems to go round in circles we're not moving forward we're not moving on but this period here is saying we are now expanding all right if it's been stuck if we have the repeated pattern that you know you or your partner keep saying i'm going to break this cycle i'm going to break it perhaps it's uh, a toxic cycle perhaps it's behaviors perhaps it's negativities depression it's time for this to break so that you can fully come into your happiness and expand and grow but this awareness is the key as you become aware of it then you start to break it and go forward with the chariot i want a little bit more information tell me some more tell me some more for my libras please we've got the lovers with that there this is very much for many of you about a relationship now if you're single yeah okay if you are single and i don't do love readings but if it shows up in the cards then i will share it with you if you've been single like forever round and around can't find the right person just doesn't seem to hit every time i think i'm getting close no it didn't work going round in circles then this over the next few months and few weeks, that dog next door barking, will calm down in a minute, um, that over the next few weeks, potentially here, we have a shift and a change into abundance, into prosperity, into a new, new relationship that could go all the way. The Knight of Cups talks about a love offer. The Lovers is here. The Two of Cups with the Ten of Cups is here. The Fool, which is something or someone brand new. If, Libra, you are single and open for love, this is a very good period for you over the next few weeks. So don't sit on your laurels take things forward go and join that um, community group near you or join that online dating or go out to that party say yes to everything and anything where you might meet people because there is potential here for a relationship coming in which is new to go all the way all the way look it's a strong yes so no need to worry if you're single within the next few months you might meet somebody within the next few weeks you're not going to meet anybody sitting at home watching telly, all right? Well, it's not un impossible, but it's unlikely, um, unless it's the postman or somebody that comes to your house. We need to get out there making an effort, okay? So don't be sitting there if you're single thinking, I'm never going to find anybody because you will create that reality. I want you to take away the worry. Right? What's wrong with me? Why aren't I meeting anybody? Why is nothing changing? We've got to get rid of that. And we're stepping into a strong yes that there is a loving, romantic relationship here for some of you that want it. It's a lucky time. This is a time you could potentially meet the love of your life that you marry. Okay? Now, let's take love off the table because I know most of you are either not interested in it or you're already coupled up because I'm somebody that doesn't specialise in love readings. The people who are looking for love tend to watch other people, other tarot channels, not me. So let's move it into this isn't about romance. This is a fresh start in terms of abundance, prosperity, happiness and stability. And the lovers, if we're not talking about a relationship um, can be a talk actually they're just saying your existing relationship moving to the next level getting stronger you know if you've been married forever and it's got a little bit stale it's waking up again the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles it's waking up again it's coming into a good space all right if this isn't about love it is about prosperity and building something for the future tell me about <laughs> That is a strategy. I was just going to say, tell me about these two. All right. So we've got seven of swords, a magician and ace of wands. All right. Lovely. The seven of swords. And we're talking about the fool and the empress. 
this is about strategy, having a plan. What is my plan for my new beginning, for my abundance? I need to formulate a plan. Now it's coming out with a magician, which is my favorite card in the deck, because this is your power to manifest and create from a place of your magic inside, your self-belief, your determination. So you are creating a strategy. If I want to find love, what am I doing about it? What's my plan? What am I going to join? What am I going to do? If I'm looking for that promotion, what's my plan? Update my resume, my CV, talk to a recruitment consultant. If I'm looking for a new home and it's not been hitting, maybe I need to change my realtor and look for somebody else. You know, whatever it is, you're coming up with a plan and then you're stepping into your magician energy to create it into reality. And here comes the Ace of Wands with that new beginning. So we've got the Fool and the Ace of Wands and a strong yes within the next few months. Libra, this is looking really, really good, my beautiful people. Let's finish off with an angel card. And this is the um, Oracle of the Angel, is it? Yeah. Angel Oracle cards. Yeah. All right. Receptivity. Oh, it just keeps getting good, doesn't it? All right. Receptivity. This is a card of being open to receive. I am ready. Comment that below. I am ready to receive my abundance, my prosperity, my love, whatever it is that you're open to, that you are wanting because it wants to go forward. It's a strong yes. So you align yourself with receiving all good stuff. <gasps> Lovely. Oh, Libra, I tell you what, most of the signs have had, you know, quite a challenging messages about the shift and change. We're moving into better times. It's getting better. But a lot of people have had some heavy cards and you haven't. You've got lucky cards. You've got yeses. You've got creating abundance and all sorts of good stuff. So I hope this helped. Thank you so much for being here. If it did help, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It really does help my channel to grow. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. I have missed you guys. It feels so good to be back and connecting with you properly once again. So I'll see you in a couple of weeks for your money and career reading. And I'm sending you much love. Take care, Libra. Bye-bye.